Good evening. Welcome to my unboxing. <laughs> Hello, here I am again. And guess what? It's Christmas! <laughs> Not really. Uh, but I do have some unboxing to do. And I'm going to smash through them because I've got to keep on top of this thing. Now, first up, I'm going to show you this. This was sent to me from Jason Hoffman from Jezup in GA. Is that Georgia? I'm guessing is Georgia. No doubt people will correct me because that's what happens because I'm very ignorant when it comes to United States state names. I'm very sorry. And abbreviations more to that point. So on here it, it says to Marley Matchbox, etc, etc. And it's a commemorative pocket knife. And I thought, whoa, this is going to be cool, super cool. So, first up, when I opened it, I look in here and there's a little slip of paper here from Australian Border Force and it says open for inspection and then it says an item has been removed by Australian Border Force so what they've done is they've taken out the item the knife and they've sent me an empty envelope go figure because you can buy knives over here so Jason Hoffman I would like to say I would like to wholeheartedly apologize that you have been robbed of the joy of seeing me open your parcel. However, I will read the letter. It says, Dear Marty, Love the channel, my wife and I are long-time fans. Enclosed is a small token of our appreciation. We hope you like it. We wish you continued success with your channel. Please say hi to Julie and Kevin. Hi, Julie. Kevin's not here. Hello. <laughs> Signed, Jason and... Teresa Hoffman. Right, well, thank you for the thought. It says here a commercial pocket knife. And uh, on this side, it says a commemorative pocket knife. And I was really looking forward to seeing it because I know some of those things are really cool to have. Um, anyway, a few days after this one arrived, I got this letter. It's a seizure notice from Australian Border Force Customs. And it says that the following goods were seized. And that is one times automatic knife. So I don't know whether it's a flick knife or or what but they've taken it they've th thought that it was an illegal object and there's nothing I can do about it unfortunately so there you go there's the proof that it wasn't lost in transit it was taken confiscated by the Australian government okay now moving on to something better and brighter with the parcels that actually got through customs this one's from Keith Baldwin in Texas so, it's a nice little compact package. I shall open it up. And let's have a look here. What does it say? Hola from Texas, Marty. Love your channel. It is so calming. I have included two superfasts. I know you currently do not restore them, but you may clear in our email yet. Hey? Eh? I know you currently do not restore them, but you made clear in our email yet. These were well played with in my youth. I cannot think of a better new home for them than with you. Regards, Keith. Well, thank you, Keith, from Texas. Let's have a look and see what they are. Keith Baldwin. Two vehicles. I'm guessing. Could be a boat and a caravan. Who knows? Well, a caravan's technically... A, is a boat a vehicle? A marine vehicle, perhaps. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. All right, what have we got here? Well played with. Super fast, oh, excuse me. Super fast Mercedes 350 SL, made in 1973. And it's got a soft, oh, look at that. The, oh, that's probably not supposed to happen. It's lifting up. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never, it's unusual. Quite, don't see those every day. And this one here, oh, this looks like a little, something like I used to own in England. It's a, a Renault. I didn't used to own a Renault at all. But it looks like it. It looks like the one I used to own. <laughs> it's a Renault 514, number 21, super fast. Uh, wow, look at those. And the rear tailgate is in perfect working order. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, that's a good start for today's unboxing. Put the letter aside. Have to keep the letters. Right, next package is from Mr. Anonymous again. I love that bloke. I think I used that joke on the last one. <laughs> and this has been cocooned, for want of a better word, by the Sellotape Spider. 
So I'm going to have to cut through this with this knife. So this should be fun. Oh, hang on, let me see what's in it first. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll keep you in suspense. Just got to open it carefully, I think. Ooh. Oh! Nah, I just fooled you. I think this might be a letter. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I don't know how to get into this thing. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, syringes. Kevin, what have you got to tell me? Oh, there's a letter in here. Wow, this is a big... Oh, I'll read the letter. Now, there's a picture of a train that's been drawn. Up. Oh, and there's a, this is a cryptic. This is a cryptic. Oh, no. He's put... <laughs> there's no address on there, is there? He's put letters across the top, numbers down the side, and it says... The numbers and letters around the edge will help to put it back together if you cut it up. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> like a jigsaw. All right, it's from Paul in Berry, Lancashire. He goes as Pimp My Diecasts on YouTube. So maybe look him up. Hi, Marty. Just a small token of thanks for refiring my interest in the hobby. My main interest is Corgi and Dinky as they were the special occasion. Uh, presents whilst Matchbox were your weekly pocket money purchases. Please find and close my first new top end SLR camera. What? Non functioning. As fitted incorrect battery and it blew. But as visible, it had a long hard life. Okay, beforehand. Unusual about this though is that yeah, I'm also sending a photo that was taken with the camera so it tells some of its life story. I have a feeling you will know what it is. During the 89 or 90 display season, if you were here then, you probably worked on it. Ooh, must be an aircraft. Also included are some syringes for useful for Tamiya paints, etc. It can be washed after use with acrylics. I work in medical professions, so out of date stock. Ah, oh, okay. That's a great idea. I know you have plenty over there, so liberating one of my sharks where he can be free. What does that mean? Oh, okay. P.S. The numbers... Are, yeah, I read that bit about the numbers and letters. Okay, let's have a look at this first. We'll have a look at the syringes. Oh, they're good. Right, now let's look at this. <laughs> this is equally well packaged. <gasps> oh, look at this here. And I know what that is too. Wow, they took crap photos in those days, didn't they? <laughs> this is a great. Olympus. I oh, remember the old Olympus trip. Who is it? David Daly or David Bailey. There was a joke about him somewhere. Um, <laughs> this is great. I haven't got one of these. And I've never seen one before. Comes with a removable lens cap. And obviously you can put a zoom lens on there if you so desire. That's great. That's brilliant. And thanks very much. That's going to go straight into the cupboard behind me. In with my collection of cameras. That's awesome. Thank you, Paul, from Berry in Lancashire, UK. Remember his name, Pimp My Diecasts. But wait, there's more. There's a photograph here that I'm going to show you. And I can recognise the silhouette. It's a Jaguar aircraft that I used to work on when I was in the Air Force. But check that out. This camera took this picture. <laughs> I think the guy who, uh, Paul, probably didn't read the instruction manual too well. <laughs> Now, it just shows you how cameras have evolved over the years. Imagine what kind of a photograph you could take now with just your mobile phone, yeah. That's, uh, that's amazing. They're going to go together, and I'm going to keep them together, because that's a great story. Now, there's one other thing in here. And this could be in reference to the shark, maybe? I don't know. That's confused me a little bit. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Well, now what is this here? It is a beautiful blue matchbox super fast. The shark. Oh, I get it. There you go. That's a shark, apparently. Oh, I've seen like that before. I remember that number on the front. It's very sort of when man, it's 60s. That font was very 60s, read by computers. Do you remember that? Well, that's mighty fine little car, isn't it? So thank you, Paul. Great little set. And these are going to come in really handy and save me some paint. And next, the, next, the third one today. No, the fourth, not including the lost knife. No, the third, not including the lost knife. Is from France. Philippe Leckler from Erstein. Does anyone know where Erstein is? Because I, I don't. But I'm going to find out because I'm going to put a pin in the map later. Remember that? And it's not that late. It's not, not going to be that long ago. Um, you haven't got that long to wait. I'll be doing it soon. In one swift move. Gently, easy, easy, easy. There we go. Ooh, corn chips. Popcorn. Hello, Marty. Enjoy some of my flea markets findings. Use them res for restoring, makeover, or for spare parts. The double decker isn't a matchbox model, but as you like those buses, it has an interesting casting, though. Philippe. Thanks, Philippe. Let's have a look. I'm saying Philippe because he's from France, but it's probably just Philip. Oh, there's a few in here. Oh, that's a beauty. That's the one where the, the drum rolls. You know the drum on the back? It spins because of this spiral uh, thing there. What do you call it? Spiral gear. Helix gear, maybe. And unfortunately, the drum's missing. But no, it's good for spare parts. He's dead right there. Let's have a look here. This one here. Rolls Royce again. What is it with these Rolls Royces? They were destroyed by people that owned them. Everything's wrong with it. It's terrible, isn't it? These kids did not deserve toys in that time. They should have not given them toys. All the people watching you right now were those kids. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is the Goethe truck. Oh dear. Yes, again, great for spare parts. I might rob some metal off of that one. You know, with the muggy world. Oh, there's that car that I said everybody had one of. Wow, that's the worst one I've ever seen, in all honesty. It's got nothing going for it whatsoever, has it? I can't even think why it's got no... I can't even think where that bit attaches. It's just completely vanished. Oh, there's another couple in here. A Combine Harvester. The Class Combine Harvester. Does that work? Uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, we've got a tanker. This one is the eight wheel tanker, which is, I don't, I haven't done one of these yet. That windscreen smashed in, that's a shame. I'll put these down here in order. Um, okay, the last one today from Philippe in France, a little place called Erstein. Oh, this is a nice, nice, wow. If you could feel the weight of that metal there, that is amazingly heavy. It's like made of lead. And it's got no markings on it. Wow. Okay, everyone. Here's a challenge. What is this bus? And where did it come from? And who was it made by? And what year? And what should I do with it? <laughs> tell me. Please tell me. I'd, be love, I'd love to know because I'm... Never seen one of these before. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Philip. Philippe, or Philip. Thanks for those. Those are great for spare parts. But this one here is super special. And I think it could be my favourite out of the bunch. Feel that, Julie. Catch. Oh. It says made in England, England by... You're lying. Stone Star, made in England. <laughs> Where's that on there? 
Oh, it's written on... <laughs> I can't see it because of the shadow. Didn't have my no, the shadow. <laughs> now, here's an interesting one. It's a big box, nice big box. And this is from W... Crinit? What is it? W. Cruet from the Netherlands, no less. That's where all the windmills are. Wow, and it says here, open here. So I've got to open it from the top. Now, I hope there's no man traps in here. Mm. Now, what do we have here? What can it be? Oh, what can it be? It can be some Matchbox vehicles, assortment, Matchbox Leslie diecast models, the Duck, the D U K W, which stands for, <laughs> we all know what that stands for, don't we? The D U K W. <laughs> we have the Ute, the Red Ute. The Ford, sorry, it's not the red ute, it's the Ford ute. We call them utes, utility. This is called a pickup. So I'm completely wrong. It's not the red ute, it's the Ford pickup. <laughs> and the doors don't open. That's the second one of those I've got. Oh, this is a sad looking thing. Look at that. Is that a rollover? It's the, uh, it's the pipe truck, is it? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, the pipe truck carting concrete pipes around okay oh another one of those eight wheel tankers that I just had before I haven't done one of these before I think I said that just before but I'm gonna have to knuckle down and get some of those done because I've got the other ones the super tanker and the six wheeler I might as well hurry up and get that one done I have the whole set then okay the coca-cola truck which is in quite good condition considering even all the decals look perfect there's no missing parts on them that just needs a bit of a clean up and I think that one there is good enough to go in the as used in uh, normal uh, what would you call it <laughs> sort of used condition rather than restored or good for spare parts you know that's going to go into the uh, that's that's going to be saved basically <laughs> I'm not very good with words tonight. What else we got here? Okay. This is an instruction manual for a camera. And I think the camera is right here now. But let's look a look. There's a letter here. Dear Marty, thanks for the nice makeover videos and of course the unboxing videos. I enjoy them very much. Included, please find two old box cameras. Two old box cameras for your collection and some Leslie... I can't even say it, little Leslie matchbox models. I hope you will enjoy them. William, William Cruet. Yep, William Cruet uh, from Mildenburg in Harland. Let's have a look here. Oh, this is, hey, I've got something very similar to this. Oh, awesome. Check that out. A 620 Brownie D. How lucky am I? My God. It's got the thing there that goes up and down. And it's got a carry handle. And it's got a viewfinder here. And another one he here. That's, it's full of dust. It needs a bit of a clean. Yeah. That's brilliant. Nah. That's good. I like that. I could see everything. It's quite weird. So, that's a beauty. Look at that. I'm, I'm going to do a close-up of that. Back end here opens up. This comes out, I believe. Here it comes. So, this is where you'd wind the film on. I don't know whether the film came with the rollers or the rollers are missing, but you'd wind the film as you went using this here, I believe. Yes, because it engages with that little keyhole there, you see, on the on the film winder there. spool that's great look at that put that back in there it uses Kodak 620 film that's brilliant I'm gonna give that clean up might even touch up this black paint a little bit 
and put it on display with the others. That's great. Thanks very much. William Cruitt from Holland. And the second one, because he's so generous, one was not good enough. He sent me two, which is just, I don't know, I'm going to have to buy another cupboard. <laughs> Struggling to get this open. It hasn't been opened for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Who knows? The catch is seized. Here we go. Drum roll. Wow. Check this one out. And this is the one that this booklet refers to. The Zeiss Icon Box Tengor. That is great. Look at the condition of that. That's an absolute ripper. There's a slight dent there. Might have been dropped. Oh, that would be annoying. You know, dropped it at the airport or something going through customs wrestling with a customs officer who's trying to take the knife off you. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to look into that. I've need, uh, this, this just gives me a whole new interest. You know, I get something like this and then I have to go online, Google it, you know, check it out, look at its features, see how it works, you know. They're just fascinating things, aren't they? That's brilliant. Thank you very, very much. I'll put this back in here later. Don't, don't worry about that. These will stay together, and this one will not get damaged anymore. So, thank you. I'm going to clear the table now and move on. Alrighty. This is an exciting day, folks. Um, package number five. Package number five. I'm just dreaming here, thinking, oh, I'm, I'm awestruck again. I just can't get over the generosity of you guys. I seriously can't. Steve Medley from Brookings in OR, which stands for Oregon. Oregon. This is a light little package from Steve. A little beauty there. Good size, well packaged. And he's even thought to put some additional protective packaging in there, which is just Dear Marty, I've recently started watching your channel and I'm really enjoying it. I also redo old Matchbox and other die casts. I like to clean up the mold lines and other defects. I then paint them whatever colour I think will look good, as in the case of a site hut truck. I painted it to match the new load. I then detail paint the model. Things like grills, bumpers, trims, door handles, lights, etc. I've enclosed the Matchbox model A van that you probably won't see down under. Fred Major, is that it? Fred Mayer, where am I? <laughs> Fred Mayer is a regional department grocery headquarters in Portland, Oregon, US. I live in Brookings, OR. It's in the southwestern corner of the state on the coast, just north of California. Thanks for the videos, Steve. I'm also including another van from a toy show. Oh, brilliant. Rightio, Steve. Steve Medley. Let's have a look. This is the Matchbox Anniversary Collection Ford Model A. It's packaged in the plastic bubble wrap, uh, whatever you call it. Limited edition, one of 5,000. Oh, and it says on it, Fred Meyer, 75th anniversary. Wow, that's brilliant. I'm, there's no way I'm unboxing. I'm not, I won't be unboxing this any more than that. That's just brilliant. I'm going to leave that exactly as it is. And I shall hand it down to my grandson, who will hand it down to his grandson. And who knows, in another 200 years, they'll push all the rubble apart and this will reappear. And they'll go... Look at that. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> and now the other thing. So this is the other one. The, uh, what is this one? This is the, oh, I'm including another van toy show. Huh? Another van from a toy show. <laughs> What's this? Oh, another little cryptic note. Huh. 
from the 14th Annual Toy Show, Fort Washington, PA, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Can you write the whole, in future people, can you write down the state, like all of it? Don't be lazy. Just write the whole thing. <laughs> it makes it easy. It's a number 14 Ford Transit. Let's have a look at this. Oh look, oh, look at that. It's even got the 14th Annual Toy Show on it. So they must have these made for the toy show. And you go along and you look at the, the toys, and then you buy one of these. That's number 14. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, it's the 14th. It's the 14th. The 14th Annual Toy Show. Fort Washington, PA. <laughs> That's great. Look at that. Nothing needed to do to that. So, again, this is getting out of control. I'm getting more and more cars that are being sent, and they're in... I can't do, any, I can't do anything with that, except put it on display in a cabinet. And as time goes by, these cabinets are just taking over my whole house. You know? <laughs> and, you know, we've got nowhere to store our food anymore or anything. <laughs> we've got cars everywhere. <laughs> it's just brilliant. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Steve Medley from Brookings, OR. Now we've got one more to go this week. Um, uh, didn't want to make it too long. Didn't want to make it too long like last week. Oof, that was a heavy one. That was a marathon, that was. Oh, having said that, this is a heavy one. Feels like there's a lot of stuff in here. And this one, incidentally, has come from Johan Nilsson from Sweden. Uh, this is the first. This is the first one I've had from Sweden. Oh, look at all that dust coming out of this thing. It's Oh, it's uh, like got in roof insulation in there. Look at that. Oh, my God. Don't breathe that in. <coughs> a lot of stuff in here. Whoa. The mother load from Sweden. Actually, that weighs almost as much as that. <laughs> it's a heavy envelope. <sighs> look at this. All, all manner of things. And a letter. And a little thing here. I nearly chucked out. Small, small to big. Wow. Let's have a look. Julie, can you bring the vacuum cleaner after and clean up, please? Made a mess. Hello and greetings from Gothenburg, Sweden. Here are some cars I emailed you about earlier. I stuffed as many as I could while staying within the weight limit and only matchbox cars, of course. These have been played with by me and my brother from, say, 1969 onwards, well into the late 70s in the sand, as you may discover. The green low loader, wow, I'm looking at the pictures here, and I'm getting excited, is a set together with the red caterpillar. I cannot remember that it had a cab, but according to the pictures, it should. Also, maybe the yellow caterpillar can be used for spare wheels. For the blue tractor that I assume you already have, quite a few. It belonged to this set, the K20. Ah, the truck is long lost. In fact, I cannot even recall it if it was red. But I know that there were three tractors and that yellow thingy keeping the wheels in place. And I have a memory of the cardboard background in the box. For the K2 heavy red, red truck, I actually have all of the hooks. They are included in the separate bag together with as many king size tires I could find. Johan Nilsson. Well, thank you very much, Johan. This looks like a very generous thing to do. He's actually donated his childhood toys to me, which is just amazing. So let's, uh, I'm not, that's obviously the hooks for, the, for the, 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 the recovery vehicle, the truck, whatever it was called. So I shall start here with this one and work my way up to the biggest. Oh yes, the blue tractor, wow. Oh my God, that is impressive. That's almost perfect. The wheels have the tires have come loose, of course, because they always do. But I think that's near as damn perfect. That thing. Goodness me, that's going to go in the same in the food cupboard along with the other one. <laughs> I can't believe that's been played with. Let's have a look at these. This is very, very exciting. This is a big little dozer here. Look at this. Wow, okay, I can see that's been played with in the sand. My God. So this has come from from Sweden, yes, but 
1969 onwards. His brother and him were playing with these in the sand pit. Look at that. That is 1969 aged sand right there. Can you see that? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Cool. Okay, case tractor. Yeah, I did my backhoe. I got a backhoe license. And I did it in a case backhoe. It was the first time I'd ever heard of that brand of machine, machinery or, or vehicle. I've never sat in one since. It was a totally pointless task. <laughs> Here's another. Uh, this is a, a tract digger. Look at this one here. This has been played with as well in the sand. These are beautiful. These are Matchbox Series, King Size K8, this one. The track excavator it's called. I wonder if they made that name up or was it real? And look at that, it's got these hydraulic rams under there. And I can't wait to get to grips with this one. Because this is just full. It's just full of good stuff. Look at it. It's all it's all levers and pistons and 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 linkages. It's just brilliant. I love it. Okay, this looks like a big truck thing. See, we're venturing into, I always started off with the 1 to 75 series. And as I'm evolving, I'm venturing into new territory. Like these king size. Matchbox, king size, scammel, contractor, tipper truck. Now look at that. That's had some heavy lifting, some heavy loads in that. Somebody's stamped on that or something. Can you see? It's bent. So to do that up, it's going to be quite a challenge to straighten that out without cracking it. But you know what? I'm thinking these are going to look amazing. And I can't wait to get to, to grips with them. I'll tell you what. They're yeah, brilliant. This is the recovery truck he was talking about. And he's taped that on for some reason. Maybe it's broken. There's a piece of wood here. Perhaps it's all floppy. I don't know. It's the heavy wreck truck, K2, king size number two, scannel, heavy wreck truck. And it's got a great lot of detail, because it's a bigger model. They could put pack more, more, more detail into it. I'm just taking this off, because I'm curious as to why that piece of wood is there. Is it just to stop that from being bent, or what? Feels like that's got spring pressure in it. Maybe, in its day, it might have... You might have pushed it down, it lifted up on its own. It Maybe my imagination, but it feels like there's a spring in there. And it's got all the tyres, which is a great thing to have. But that's a brilliant model. I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that. I want to, I want to call in sick for work tomorrow and do those. That's what I'd like to do, but I, I won't, of course. Because if I did, my boss might watch this video and he'll, uh, he'll phone and give me the arse. <laughs> This is a great selection. One of the most random sets I've ever received, I think. Like, just totally unexpected. I don't know why I got that. I don't need it. They're so big, I can see them. You know? They look, if you look like that, they look like life size. Taylor Woodrow. King size again. Ford tractor. All right. Obviously, there must be uh, something missing here. Well, a trailer by the looks of it. But what's the story with this bit? Going to have to look into that one. So, now we've got a little little car here. Oh, it's the one with the two dogs in the back. This colour, I'm shying away from this model. So I'm scared to try and make this colour up. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm slowly being forced into... Uh, Confronting my fears because people send me a couple of I think I might have three of these now All worthy of restoration and I'm gonna have to bite the bullet take take the bull by the horns and uh, knuckle down <laughs> Without beating about the bush. I'm gonna have to get them done <laughs> So this is the last uh, model to be unpackaged today or revealed This is the last model it looks like another big one. It's a trailer, but it goes with. It must go with that. It looks like a trailer, semi-trailer. Hey, hey, this has got a spare tire on it here. Look, wow, that's an unusual-looking trailer. 
you generally don't get them like that anymore. With one set of double wheels on the back, but nothing. That looks like that's going to bend if you put like something really heavy on there, doesn't it? But I'm thinking this must have come together like this. I can't wait to do some research on this. Imagine if that's one model. Can you imagine that made up? A makeover video on this, complete. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be the best makeover video in history. <laughs> no, it would make for a really good uh, makeover video, wouldn't it? If that was all one model, I'm going to do some research on these, and I can. I'm actually quite excited about these. They're really, really good. This one's a keeper, but these here, I can see great potential for them. So thank you, jo Johan, from uh, Sweden. I really, really, really appreciate you giving up your childhood memories for me to uh, try and fix up and make look like new again. So that concludes the boxing for tonight. Uh, oh, hang on. I better have a look at these. Sorry. Johan, f Johan f forgot about these. This must be all the little tyres and, and stuff, he said. Hooks. Hooks and tyres, was it? Let's have a look. These are, oh, these are great. Really, really awesome because some of these vehicles are <laughs> missing these tyres. And these are going to be... Obviously, there's a lot here that can be used. Oh, here's the hooks. I see. Oh, that's brilliant. That gives me an idea of what I need to do. What I need. Wow, they've got... They're lead. Or oh, similar. Heavy metal. Yep, yeah, brilliant. Excellent. Great. Thanks ever so much. Look at that. What, what more could I ask for in an unboxing? A fantastic variety of stuff. And there's only one more thing to do. And that is put the pins on the map. First up, I need to say sorry to Pharrell uh, Latour from Baton Rouge in Louisiana. I thought LA stood for Los Angeles. So I put the pin in the wrong map, in the wrong point on the map last week, so I'm gonna change it now. So I'm gonna take uh, Pharrell's pin out of Los Angeles and move it down to LA. Baton Rouge, there it is right there, look. I can see it. There we go. I hope it's a bit closer. All right, good on you, Farrell. Thank you. Okay, Johan Nilsson, you are... You have the honour of being the first person from Sweden to send me a package. So I'm going to give you a special orange pin. And you're from Hissings in... Hissings Kara in Sweden, which is just above... Gothenburg, I believe. So I'm going to put that in there. And that is for you, Johan. Thank you very much for your contribution. Next up, Keith Keith Baldwin from Louisville in Texas. <laughs> here we go. I've got you a yellow pin. And uh, it's about here. It's uh, above Fort Worth and Dallas. So stick that in there. So that's for Keith Baldwin. There you go. Thank you, Keith. Steve Medley, you're next up from Brookings in Oregon, and you've got an orange pin. And we're going to put you up there now. And uh, Brookings is not shown, but we're going to put you just north of Eureka, because we think that's just about where you might be. And there you go. So that's you, Steve. Thank you. Now, next one up is Jason Hoffman, who sent me a beautiful knife, I'm sure, but unfortunately, Australian Border Protection confiscated it but I'm going to give you recognition regardless and you came from Jessup in Georgia and I know where that is I believe it's up here it's between midway between Jacksonville and Savannah so I'm going to stick that in just about uh, there and I hope that you realize that your contribution was most welcome even though it didn't get through so thank you very much for the thought Okay, next one up is a yellow pin, and it's for Willem Cruet from Middleburg in the Netherlands. Now, this is going to be difficult to squeeze in here because it gets awfully crowded up here in Europe, just like in real life. The map is crowded with pins. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's two yellow ones on the side by side. That one there is yours, Willems. Willem. So, thank you. 
Philippe Leckler. Let's put Philippe's pen in. Uh, it's just above Zurich there. It's in, uh, right on the border between, near the border of France and Germany. I'm struggling to see. I'm going to go here. If I can get it sticky in. There we go. Okay, that's Philippe Leckler. Thank you very much, Philippe. Paul, pimp my die casts from Lancashire. Here we go, you've got a black pin going in. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty crowded up here. I'm going to whack you in here. I know it's not perfectly accurate, but it represents you from the UK. There you go, Paul. Thank you very much for your marvellous contribution. Contribution. So, um, until next time, until next week, who knows, maybe next two weeks, um, I say thanks for watching the unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for more makeovers in the pipeline. So, until then, goodbye. What is it? What's the R O R? What's that stand for? Oregon. Oregon. Okay, S Steve Medley, you're next up for Brookings in. Uh, you come from Brookings in Ontario. Do you know what? what? Just say Steve. Oregon. Steve Medley, Oregon. <laughs> Bing. Okay. Well, like these, okay. it's taking so long per clip. Next up, Steve Medley from Brookings in. Oregon! <laughs> Alright, next up, Steve Medley from Brookings in Oregon. You got an orange pin, and it's going in right now near to. Where? I can't see. Are you kidding me?